The molecular tests are very, very good. They're validated. There are many of them now. I think they can roll those out easily. It's just a question of paying for them. The antibody tests are a little more, little more nuanced. We don't really know what these tests mean. If people want to use them to say that an individual is safe to go out, is immune, I think that's overstating what we currently know. So I'm very bullish on the molecular tests, the antibody tests, it's still unclear. They're never going to be able to tell us whether or not somebody is currently infected. So there, I think there's a sort of a misunderstanding of the value of the antibody tests. Dr. Dr. Lipkin. The idea of an antibody passport uh, is certainly concerning to many of us in public health. Dr. Lipkin, to that point, I, I think it's fairly well discussed uh, over the last couple of weeks that we aren't certain if having an antibody makes you immune. At the same time, though, uh, I feel like the consensus in the marketplace is that if and when we have a vaccine, that will solve everyone's problems. But if having an antibody doesn't necessarily make you immune, does that not also suggest that as and when we have a vaccine, it, it, it may not achieve the, the sort of wholehearted solve the problem for everyone uh, type scenario that, that maybe people are expecting that it will at the moment? OK, that's an excellent question. And it, it gets to the part of the matter, which is that you can have an antibody against one part of the virus, tells you you've been infected, but that doesn't mean that you have a neutralizing antibody. What we want to know about is those antibodies that'll kill the virus. And people don't typically test for those. They just test for antibodies that tell you you've been exposed to the virus. So that's a very different question and a very different answer. Once we know we have neutralizing antibodies, good tests for them, then I think we can be confident that we can use these tests to guide management. But Dr. Lipkin, if, if people's base case at the moment is it's only a matter of time until we have a vaccine that achieves uh, all that we hope it will achieve, as opposed to a question of if that's even uh, possible, are people overconfident about that, that we'll have a vaccine that works this time next year? No, I think we will have vaccines. I think we'll have several vaccines. I don't think this is a very difficult virus against which we make a vaccine. It's not like flu or HIV, which are continually changing their, their composition, so they're a moving target. This seems to be a fairly stable set of targets. The question is, how are we going to know who has antibodies and who doesn't, and what value antibody testing has in directing management of COVID? The molecular tests are very clear. We have excellent tests. I'm very confident that we can roll those out. The antibody tests are not quite there yet. They'll get there, but they're not there yet.